hello again. Um, and it's lovely to be here with our, the next part of our assembly series called Good Friday Wasn't the End. Today's story is really exciting. But before we start, I'd like you to look at this picture and see if you recognise the building. It's very famous. And in fact, been on TV an awful lot over the Queen's Jubilee celebrations because there was a service of thanksgiving in this building for her 70-year reign. Maybe you saw it. Yes, of course, it's St Paul's Cathedral. Many Christian churches <clears throat> are named after saints, and a saint is someone whose example inspires and helps others. Paul was a church leader who wrote many of the letters in the New Testament. Um, that's the second part of the Christian Bible. And he travelled widely to share the Christian message. But he wasn't always known by the name of Paul, nor was he always thought of as a saint. Listen to Paul's story now. Hello, my name's Paul. I used to be called Saul. Believe me, I was not a nice person. I hated everyone who believed in Jesus. I wasn't a kind person. I even stood by as Jesus' followers were killed. I was an angry person. I found out where the Jesus people lived and dragged them off to prison. That'll teach them, I thought. They should behave like everyone else. And I wasn't alone. Other people agreed with me. They deserved it, they say. They think they're better than us. And eventually, the followers of Jesus were terrified of me. One day I set off to do the same thing in a city called Damascus. It was a hot day and I felt hot inside, angry, very angry. Perhaps that what, that's what caused the blinding light because suddenly I couldn't see anything. I felt dizzy and I fell to the ground. And a voice spoke to me, Saul, Saul, why are you doing this to me? Who are you? I cried out. I am Jesus, said the voice. When you hurt my friends, you are hurting me too. Go into the city and I'll send someone to help you. I still couldn't see. And so my friends took my hand and helped me along the road. I felt helpless and, I'll admit it now, terrified. I realised that this was how I'd made other people feel. So I prayed, and although I didn't deserve it, Jesus heard my prayer and he sent help. A man called Ananias came to pray with me. He was one of the Jesus people I'd set out to kill. Brother Saul, he said, the Lord has sent me because he has chosen you to take his message to all the people in the world. Ananias was so kind and so forgiving. He prayed with me. And then my eyes were opened and I could see again what I'd done was awful. But I knew that God could change even someone as bad as me. I became a follower of Jesus too. And now I want to tell everyone the good news about him. So call me Paul 
all my new friends do. It's my Christian name, a different name. The name tells how much I have changed. <laughs> wow. Paul, or Saul as he was, changed in so many ways, didn't he? Can you remember some of them? He was an enemy, wasn't he? And then he became a friend. He was cruel, but then learnt to be kind. He was uncaring, but learnt to understand how his actions affected other people. He didn't even want to consider the views of others, but then grew in understanding them. He learnt respect for God and others. Saul's change of name reflected his change of character. When Christians describe a change such as that, we call it a conversion. Even today, sadly though, many people across the globe continue to face hatred and violence because of their beliefs. This story of Saul, who became Paul, shows us how we can change and how to really appreciate the customs and faiths and traditions of others. Let's just take a, a short time to think about our own personal attitudes and behaviour. Is there anything that we need to change? Dear God, help each one of us to change our attitudes and behaviour so that we can be understanding and kind to everyone we meet, even if they are different to us. Let peace fill our hearts, our world, our universe. Amen. Well, until I see you next time, goodbye.